Um, one one statement within that statement was true. Kudragi's way. It did come out this week. It's yes. true. We released that earlier this week. Have you seen it? Have I you checked so. it out yet? If not, what are you doing here? Pause this shit. In fact, just turn it off. Wow. Go yeah. watch Kudaragi's Way. You're probably not coming back. You're going to rewatch Kudaragi's Way all night, baby. Sean, Sean pause this Woo! podcast while you edit it. That's how good it is. Okay. Can was... we just stop podcasting and watch Kudaragi's Way right now? That's not entertaining for anyone. Uh, all the people that haven't seen can it we play? Be... Can we play the Arvids video? We'll move into the Arvids section yeah, of the podcast. Um, definitely. Okay, Sean, go. I'm oh, fuck. You know what? I don't know how to work it. Sorry. Uh, I'm fucking this up. Eric, I think I should be on we... set because I, I don't know how to handle this over here. <laughs> You're never going to be on the show again. Uh, episode three, Sans, Sean. <laughs> episode three. He will not return for episode three. Sorry about that. Yeah, this we, is episode two. Sean. This is episode two. Can we get you to, to go you play in. the Arvids uh-huh. video? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. Okay, you know that, that was about... episode four now. That's Sorry. offensive to me. I don't want to hear that noise anymore after what happened. So What happened? In version 3. All right, I... look. Oh, there's a video. We play it every fucking week. At the drop of a hat, we play it. It's suddenly, your favorite. Suddenly, we're not playing the video. What's the deal? Just play Arvids. Okay. Um, it's not on here. It is. Mm. It's gone. Nope. If you could just do it. I mean, it's his, well, he's got, asking well, for a Eric, request. Eric, where'd you, where'd you put it? You Go fucked it up. help him. God, this podcast is grinding a hole. Oh, got it. Jesus Oh, Christ. right. That's not there. Do you think that we have any viewers still? Um, that's not it. I don't understand. I don't know. I don't know the problem. Oh, he's doing this on purpose. I'm over the bit. Yeah, me too. So can be back on the fucking set, assholes. Yep. We're, well, the, uh, we're definitely the bad guys uh, in this situation. That was a, that was a, I apologize. That was a tremendously poor introduction to talking about our videos. Yeah, no kidding. Kind of sucked the Steve we, out of the podcast. I mean, we had a whole video lined up for it. And we'll just we'll just move on. We'll move right on. Uh, into, into Kudaragi's Way. Derek, did you have a lot of fun filming that video? Uh, we did release Kudaragi's Way. I did have a lot of fun filming that video. We, uh, we worked really hard on Kudaragi's Way. We, um, we probably took about... I would say the last month and a half to put that one together. We started a month and a half ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one went Dude. right up to the deadline. Yeah, yeah, it really did. We battled a huge rainstorm, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> stuff That's stuff true. got shifted around. Yeah, we did. Uh, you may remember, like, uh, the drought started in San Diego, and we thought we'd be all clear to film Kudaragi's Way. We had our friend Fernando Huerto help us out from Jabroni Pictures. Check out his YouTube channel. He's been on our podcast several times, mm-hmm. and he was great. Fernando, I think, had a great time filming it. Yeah, uh, I wish he, he did was awesome to talk job. about it. Yeah, he did an awesome job. Yeah, mm-hmm. he um, obviously is a very talented stuntman, a uh, very talented martial artist. Mm-hmm. Did a lot of it. Did all his own stunts. Uh, choreographed all the fighting. Um, yeah, but outside of Fernando, Garrett did a great job with the special effects. For sure, thank you. Great job. Yeah, that was fun. There were some uh, squib effects that I haven't done since version three, yeah. episode six. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and there was a lot of like just really over the top. You guys handled the head crushing. <clears throat> yeah, actually, perfectly. I want to give I want to give a shout out to Derek. That yeah. head, that, that my head being so, run over by a car. So good. I was so, so impressed good. with that man. Yeah. That's so you. good. That came out awesome. You know, and we have it's not out yet, but it's coming soon. A behind the scenes video. I think it's going to be out this week. This week, it definitely yeah. will be out this week. Yeah. yeah. Rocco said he was going through. A, I'm just going to go on the set. But Rocco said he was. Um, oh wow! All right, Sean. Over here in the Sean, guest spot. when you edit this on yeah oh, okay, tomorrow, good. edit yourself out. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Could you wear like a, a, a one of those masks? Just put a blue dot over yeah. your face. Okay. But go ahead. Sure. Uh, Rocco said he was going through. We filmed so much behind the scenes of this video that he was going through all of the usable parts. You know, like the yeah. stuff. Mm-hmm. He looked at the timeline. It was an hour and forty minutes long. <laughs> Told me that too. It's like a movie. The yeah. most behind so, the scenes that he's had that we've ever had. We've ever had. Ever. So I mean, we had to cut that down drastically. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, well, we've been filming for so long, and we had the behind the scenes cameras running the whole time. So we got like a lot. Yeah. A lot of good footage. There are multiple days, multiple weekends that we met and filmed and stuff. Yeah, and we got then, we got all behind the scenes stuff of the head getting run over, yeah. all the squib stuff, uh, preparing each shot. I, the cameras were running constantly yeah. while we were doing this. Yeah. yeah, so the behind the scenes is still not out yet, but uh, it's coming, and it's going to be very good. Yeah, I was surprised with how good you made the um, the head explosion Dan Christmas's character who's oh, walking down the sidewalk yeah. and could shoot in real life that looked in real life 
That looked so bad as yeah. we did it. I mean, we're just kind of. I was pulling shit out of my ass. Like the ideas for that were just like, let's see if this works. Let's see if this works. Right. And it came out so good in your editing. I think. Yeah, there's a lot of experimentation, but that's how it is uh, most of the time. Oh yeah, when that's, you, that's as long as you get it. something on footage, you can you can work with it and put it together in the I think, computer. I think having the VHS kind of grain and filter on top of it helps. like really helps too. Oh yeah, yeah. helps. Yeah, hide. that is a uh, you know that is like doing a Photoshop technique in video where you have a texture that you can put onto your video and mm-hmm. it's almost like a band aid for anything that didn't quite come together or any you know visual effect that might be a little rough yeah you can run it through the vhs and it's all gonna look shitty anyways afterwards so mm-hmm. you don't have to worry too much about it also it. worked in our favor that in the idea of this video kudaragi made this yes. yeah so if it's a little fucked up it's like well he made it yeah. this is what he made so yeah. like we kind of like, that was our like, our like okay well this looked great but here we go mm-hmm. although it looked great at the end anyways mm-hmm. but yeah the whole time when when we were trying to write it i remember sometimes there would be uh moments when we didn't know what the next line of dialogue should say. And it was like, well, hmm, Kudaragi's just making a movie about himself. So it's probably just about like, oh, you're so handsome. That theme or, is oh, great. you're just yeah. really cool. I mean, for like six weeks straight, it was like, okay, so in this scene, we need you to call Kudaragi both handsome and cool. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll just keep doing that over and over. And it's funny because, yeah, we just kind of were like pulling those bits of dialogue out here and there. And then we compiled it all of the computer is like we have just a whole movie yep, of people of how calling handsome him he is. Handsome, handsome and cool. Yep. So it all kind of worked out in the end. So yeah, that was cool. Kudaragi, you're the coolest guy I've ever made it with. That, that is, is like the best line. That, that line is so good. <laughs> I love that line. I love it. If people go back and watch that scene in particular, like the clothing, the, oh, the yeah, wardrobe that. switch is like something for yeah. people to pick up on their second right. or third viewing or whatever. And a lot of the just scenes, little stuff that's the behind the that. scenes, but something. Uh, happened that I was I mean it's crazy to think about but Derek stood in for Fernando yeah to throw Kudaragi out the building so Derek was Fernando's stuntman yeah oh wow you actually stuntman. Man, stuntman one of think, Fernando's stuntmen think about that and who's the better stuntman I mean that's brilliant it really it's gotta be hard for Fernando he can't be as good a leading man as me and yet I'm a better stuntman well, too how, how soft Woo! how soft was that jacket uh Ken Kudaragi's jacket is very soft very yeah. soft it looks you know, very firm you didn't and powerful. But then it. when you touch it, it's like he's wearing – the man wears the flying nimbus wow. around Whoa. his chest. He wears a cloud. That's how you know he's rich. It's probably the, a, a – yeah. it's probably an expensive little yeah. blazer. The richer yeah. the person, the softer the, softer yeah. the jacket. The I, I always cow. thought the more tiny cats embroidered on their – Yeah, he had a little cat no. on his turtleneck. You guys are picking his wardrobe apart a little bit. No, I liked it. It was a great wardrobe. I want that turtleneck. Yeah. That was a cool-ass turtleneck. You know, you look at the Snuggie, it looks like it's soft. Mm-hmm. It's actually yeah. very brittle Fuck mm-hmm. the and, like, itchy yeah. right. and yeah. very cheap. Yeah. Rich person's Snuggie <laughs> would be like that. be like Ken Kudaragi's jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Complete velour all over. <laughs> Flying Nimbus. Gorgeous. Flying Nimbus. Uh, but, yeah, if you look closely at the top of the whatever structure we throw Ken Kudaragi <laughs> off at the end of the video, that is me who grabs him. I think, you know, you can recognize my ear, the back of my haircut. So. <laughs> I recognize that ear. Yeah. You know, see that ear, you know whose ear that is. I actually, it's kind of a failure, you know, we could we should have digitally altered my ear to make it oh. look more like Fernando's. Oh, yeah. I think we thought the VHS would just kind of patch that over. Yeah, you were but. a stuntman in that for Fernando. We also had another stuntman that we met with uh, on the final day of shooting. We got the last shot with oh, Cliff Blazinski. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah, actually, the fighter. Um, <clears throat> the fighter. As he's credited in the video. <laughs> yeah, so doing Kudaragi's Way went right up to the last minute. That was a special video we made specifically for GDC. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ken Kudaragi received the Lifetime Achievement Award at the Developer's Choice Awards this year, and this video... I don't know, honored him? Yeah. yeah. Well, it was sure. our chance hey. to film with someone who it, was receiving yeah. the Lifetime Achievement I think the way that we presented it was awesome, because they didn't say... Here's the new Mega 64 video. Yeah. Here's the, is this the video played? It was the introduction, so people took yeah. it seriously at first, yep. yeah. which was great. It was perfect. Yeah, I think it's kind of cool. It's almost it's sort of turning into a tradition when we go to GDC. <laughs> whoever's winning a lifetime achievement award, or whoever's you know just the biggest developer there being celebrated that year, we get an opportunity to work with them and film a funny video. So mm-hmm. we've done Miyamoto, Kojima, uh, Game Newell. Yeah. Warren Spector. Warren Spector. Warren Spector. We've never done one specifically with 
Cliff Blazinski, but we always He's sneak him in. Yeah, yeah, everybody yeah, Easter egg. Yeah. I almost feel like, like I don't. Everyone. I don't ever want to do a video featuring him. <laughs> I just want him to be an extra. Hey, and everybody well, but else's he never videos. That guy will email us. Yeah, but he's probably he, not. He, he's he, never done anything worthwhile. <laughs> <laughs> Jazz, Jazz Jackrabbit is a fan favorite. But it's true. He he emails us and he's like, "Hey, I'm in San Francisco. What are we doing this year?" Yeah. It's like, "All right, cool. Yeah. What is it?" So, what What an incredible stunt by Cliff Blazinski. The awesome leg sweep. And we filmed Fernando just on a whim doing a back up on the green screen so yeah. we'll throw that over the leg sweep mm. perfect it's great it's so <laughs> yeah. it's like that fast I, and I love it yeah we had to walk farther to get to that filming location than we did for ken kudaragi i think you might yeah. be right yeah. we filmed with kudaragi uh in san francisco the day before the video was done and brought the vhs uh <laughs> player the vcr mm -hmm. to san francisco with us yeah we think we may be the only group that brought a VCR <laughs> with us. That's not confirmed. To the W to stay for GDC. Mm. Not confirmed. No. You know, but p potentially. Yeah. So we set the VCR up in our hotel room. Um, we've done this before for a couple different videos. We thought we knew what we were doing and that it'd be very easy. Mm -hmm. But for whatever reason, the fucking VCR just was not working. Oh, we like troubleshot it till four. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we were up till four in the morning trying to figure out this fucking VCR, getting it to work in our hotel room. Luckily, we got it. I don't even remember how... We had to put in... We, put we in, had to hit record before we hit play. Yes. You, have to, you had to start recording from the menu to hit play on the DVD to get it to record on VHS. We're the only... Like, we, had no, a friend, we had a friend with us there who was sitting on the bed, <laughs> oh and he was... He, the whole time... We were up till 4 in the morning. We started at 8 p.m. Uh, <laughs> our friend Kella, he's sitting there on the bed. Uh... <laughs> Why don't you put the DVD in the VHS slot? He has no stock in us finishing <laughs> no, this he video. Doesn't care. No, he doesn't, he doesn't care. Yeah, uh, I thought Rocco and you were going to tell him oh, to leave. Yeah, no, no honestly, kidding. I appreciated it because sometimes, yeah, sometimes when you are in a situation like that and it's coming down to a deadline, you get really stressed out and mm. you start turning into a bitch. Yeah. And you're just like really snappy. But when oh, you yeah. have a friend there, an outside person who's not part of the regular group, <laughs> And they're saying stuff that is just so, like, over the top. Yeah. You're, you're not close enough to that person to tell them, like, shut the fuck up before I kill you. You, yeah. you did, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, because, honestly, I could sense some tension from other yeah. people in the oh, room yeah, being like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. fuck you. But, yeah. but I was the only one who knew Kella enough to say it. He yeah. would, he but would honestly, talk. I was happy that he was there. Oh, yeah, me too. Me too. Me too. Me too. He would talk, and it would go on for too much, and then it would be quiet for a minute, and then the VHS would play, and he'd go... Is this 4K? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. That was funny. Yeah, so uh, he was well, we there. Got part yeah, of the yeah. We, we got it. it. Uh, we showed it off at GDC. The clip with Cliff actually didn't make it into the version we showed yeah, we at the that. award show. We missed the day of the award Yeah, we missed show. it. Yeah. It was oh. too late. Man. Well, but. yeah. When you're up till 4 in the fucking morning trying <laughs> yeah. to get a VCR to work. We couldn't chance it. Yeah. yeah. We only had four hours at that point <laughs> yeah. to, to get it to them. Yeah. Well, that's why it's like that's a special – Extended edition that we just put on. That's a director's And it's funny because it's that one second shot, but it's so. But it's something the GDC crowd didn't get. Yeah, and I also really do love that Cliff Wazinski is our Easter egg. Yeah. We sprinkle them into our videos. It's great. But yeah, that leg sweep, awesome. I would not want to tangle with Cliff in a back alley. That leg sweep would take you out. Only Ken Kudaragi or somebody based off of the great legend of Ken Kudaragi could avoid such a high caliber martial arts move mm -hmm. as the Cliff Blazinski leg like sweep. sweep. Sorry, I spit all over everybody. Check it out. <laughs> it missed me. So Go much. look again. Blink and you'll miss it cameo. That leg sweep. Holy shit. No. That leg, that leg, that leg sweep though. Okay, that's, that's a all. meme. You guys meme that. That's all I wanted meme to say. Um, yeah. I loved Kudaragi. Kudaragi was really, really nice. Uh, yes. yeah. His English was pretty good. We yeah. got along with him really well. But his comedic timing and like, that whole last part where he like he outros the video and he's just kind of like seated sideways with his arms folded like that was him yeah he, yeah. he decided like that's how he wanted to do it yeah. <laughs> okay that was good. great yeah he's he was great he was yeah. pretty funny really cool to work with uh yeah now, Kudaragi's way I got a question about editing when you put in that Cliffy B clip after when we got back home before we uploaded it did you run through the exact same procedure with the VHS to Oh, that's a good question. The, did or did the DVD the to VHS converter? Uh, no, that is the exact same file and VHS take that mm -hmm. was shown at GDC. Uh -huh. We literally just cut it open, 
and then inserted a little bit. Yeah, did the whole thing specifically for the one second. Now, was it, was it harder to do that? I remember that. I was actually here when that happened. Yeah, I, was I totally about that. forgot about that. When, yeah. when you did that, though, did you have the same problem when you had to hit record before you hit play, or is it just fine? All right, real talk. We did have the same problem, and Rocco went into the other room and started getting on the computer to, f- to figure it out, and I... I figured it out in like nice. two seconds. Yeah, yeah. I figured it out two right. seconds. And when we were in the hotel room, I kept trying to tell, why don't you press this button? And he was like, it's, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. He did say that. And, yeah. and you well, were the only one. I didn't even touch the VCR at the hotel room, but I'm throwing you under the bus right now. I fucking know how it works. <laughs> I figured it out here in two seconds. Come on. <laughs> Anyways. So there, there's a DVD that's burned with two, three, four seconds. I don't, is it even yeah. four seconds long? Of Cliff Wazinski hey, doing a leg sweep. That should yeah. be a secret prize. Yeah. 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 Send it. I should. Well, there's probably some Goldar footage on there, too. There's a VHS tape with Kudaragi's Way on it, which yeah. I think we yeah. should send to Ken Kudaragi, but... There's I, a lot of I Power Rangers on I there. I don't think he has a VCR. So <laughs> he, can't, he can't watch For it. For archival purposes, it was, so? You Also, you'll see in the behind the scenes, like, where we filmed that was my hotel room mm-hmm. with a green screen, like, sheet. Like yep. pinned yeah. to like the wall. Yep, looks so shitty. Wait, he works at Sony. They gotta have a VCR set up at work somewhere. They have a beta too. There's Sony. You know what? The PS4 needs VHS tech. Yeah, 